All right, time to take a look at the Panthers of Northern Iowa, Cole. And, hey, you played in this game. Throw the records out the window. You got the Bison at 5-1, and one, you and I at 3-3. Three and three. Doesn't matter. This game's always interesting and has a rivalry-type feel to it. Definitely. There's definitely a huge rivalry in this game. You and I always wants to beat NDSU. They were kind of the king of the castle before we came to town, and we kind of ruined their parade in this conference, and I think they kind of hate us for it. And these games have been some bloodbaths. You know, they've got us a couple times down at that, at that stadium. It's a tough place to go play. Their, their crowd normally gets into it. What they have for a crowd, I'm sure, will, will be pretty aggressive this week, and uh, I'm excited to see our team compete against them. Let's talk about the Northern Iowa offense to start. Will McIlvain is back. He's missed a couple of games due to a positive COVID test. Their quarterback set a UNI freshman passing record a season ago. Also, Justin Fomby filled in admirably for him, especially against Western Illinois. Cole, a couple of guys that can make plays with their legs. What kind of pressure does that put on the NDSU defensive front? I think on the front, just trying to keep those guys contained, finding a way to pressure the quarterback to help out your secondary a little bit, but keeping that guy in the pocket, keeping him, keeping him in that in that area where he can't extend the play and go four or five seconds out wide. And you know, obviously, the quarterback run game is going to be a part of the game. So if they're going to run it with the quarterback, you got to punish him. You got to put the hits on him. You got to make sure that quarterback doesn't want to run the football anymore and wants to get rid of it. Because if, if he gets time to throw, he's one of the best in the conference. Well, that and you and I's got a very solid group of wide receivers led by Isaiah Weston, uh, Dion McShane as well, Quan Hampton, the Kansas transfer, and Logan Wolf, a local product, bigger target at 6'4". The NDSU defense will be ready. They'll be prepared. Here's Logan McCormick talking about the physicality up front and Destin Talbert on the challenge against that UNI receiving core. They can be physical up front at times, and they like to run the ball or historically have ran the ball fairly well against us. So, I mean, it's going to be a great game, I think. So... It feels like any other Valley game. We got to prepare like it's one. Very capable of explosive plays. He'll he'll get out there. They'll throw it up to him. They're confident in him. And whether that's him taking some uh, short pass and taking off all the way down the field like he did against Western, or uh, catching bombs like he even did against us last year, he's capable of very explosive plays. So it'll be exciting to face up against him. You flip it over, and we know the Rams versus the UNI defensive front is going to be a nasty, nasty matchup. The Bison, number one in the Valley, rushing the football. UNI, the second-ranked rush defense goal. No matter what the names are, year by year, this last decade, they change, but the identity on both sides stays the same. This part of it's going to be a good old-fashioned street fight on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, I think both of these programs do a really good job recruiting in the trenches. You know, NDSU on the offensive line with the Rams have some big bodies, some young guys in there, but you and I, they always find defensive linemen, athletic guys that can just get vertical and make plays, and, and their linebacking core really complements that really, really well. They're a difficult team to move the football with like, on the ground, but mm -hmm. hey, last time we saw NDSU, we were pounding the rock against a, a pretty good rushing defense as well, and that's going to have to be the recipe for success again down in Northern Iowa. Yeah, you and I has not allowed a team to rush for over 200 yards in the game game so far this season. Again, really impressive front. Spencer Cuvalier in the middle at linebacker leading the Valley in tackles per game. And Omar Brown, young man out of the Twin Cities area, is a top corner in our league in all of FCS college football. Here's Bison tight end Josh Babich on the challenge against the Panthers. You and I is a very special team as always. They're going to be tough. They're going to be hard hitting. They're going to be maybe a little chippy, but I think we're going to have a really good game against them. So both these teams are coming off of COVID pauses. The Bison have missed the last two games because of COVID. Northern Iowa missed the USD game last week. So that's an interesting dynamic, interesting storyline. How does that affect the way this game is played in any way, in your opinion? I think it changes things a little bit for you and I. It's, it's their last shot at a football game this year, and, and they definitely want to go out and beat the beat NDSU, mm -hmm. beat, beat the, uh, the number, one, number one team out there. For, for NDSU, that's a long layoff, two weeks off of, of practice. Those guys are chomping at the bit to get back out there. Obviously, they, they were down in South Dakota when they got the game taken away from them. Then they had a, a real bye week, maybe some time off to rest, recover. And we had some guys that are dinged up that are probably going to be back and healthy this week. So that's, the bye week maybe was a blessing in disguise for us a little bit. Yeah, again, throw the records out the window. This one all. Always has a physical, no love lost feel for sure. We have it for you on the radio side. Network pregame coverage, 3.30 p.m. Central. Kickoff at 4 p.m. Central time from Cedar Falls. On the TV side, this is the Valley Game of the Week. It's a reminder, so only on ESPN+. Plus. No KVLY, only ESPN+. Plus on the TV side for this matchup. That's going to do it for us. For Cole Jurek, big thanks to Cole Hine. I'm Jeff Colhane, our opponent preview of the Panthers of Northern Iowa.